Hey guys, what's up? It's Caitlin, and today is a very exciting and special day, and I'm so pumped, and I am ready for this, but anyway, today I'm getting my first tattoo. I am so excited. I have been waiting to get a tattoo for so long. It has been forever in the, in the works, and uh, with quarantine and everything happening, it got pushed back even further, but finally today I am getting my tattoo done. So basically this is the last time you're gonna see this right arm totally bare. It's pretty crazy, like literally I'm two hours out from laying down in the chair and getting the tattoo done. So now with traditional videos probably going forward, uh, you're gonna be seeing me with a tattoo on my arm. Pretty exciting. So I've been waiting to get this tattoo for a really long time. Um, I've had this one in mind for years and it's very significant to me because it is basically the show that inspired me the most to get into art. And if you didn't put two and two together with just maybe this shirt, I'm getting an Avatar The Last Airbender tattoo. I absolutely love the show. It's probably my favorite show of all time and was a huge inspiration for me growing up. I, okay, when I say growing up, it did come out more closer to when I was in high school, but it was a really big inspiration for me for sure. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why I even like doing monster mashes, because most of the creatures in Avatar are like one or two or three animals combined to make some new creature, and I absolutely loved them. I think probably my top two creatures from Avatar are the Komodo Rhino and the Shirshu. And I mean, I also love Appa, like who doesn't love like a flying bison? It's just so great. But there's so many cool creatures and the story was very meaningful to me and something I still go back to for like inspiration for writing stories. Because the, the comic that I wanna make, I want to make something that impacted me like Avatar did, you know what I mean? Like I want to make a show or a comic that can do the same that Avatar did for me when I was in high school. And so I thought it would be really great to basically show where my inspiration came from by putting the tattoo on my right arm. So it kind of symbolizes it feeding into my drawing hand and feeding into the inspiration that you know, drives me to create every day. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm a little bit nervous to be honest because like a tattoo is permanent. Like it's a, it's a big deal. Like once it's on, it's, it's on, you know, there's, there's no going back. Um, so I have a little, little bit of anxiety tummy, but I'm, I'm hanging in there. So I'm going to try to capture as much footage as I can for this video. But originally, um, Josh was going to be coming in with me and filming, but with the, uh, certain guidelines and everything, I won't be able to have him in the room with me and film with me. So basically you're gonna get some clips throughout the process of like my point of view <laughs> looking at my arm. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really excited. I'm going through Black Lotus Tattooers here in Arizona and my artist is Brian Savage. He's really awesome and I'm really excited to see what he creates for my tattoo design. So let's go ahead and jump over to the tattoo shop. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, I am officially at uh, Black Lotus. Josh is dropping me off since he cannot join me, but it's uh, time to go and get my tattoo. Holy fuck, I am pretty nervous now that I'm here. It's gonna be cool, but I'm just, I'm still a little nervous. So uh, yeah, let's jump in and go get my tattoo done. So like I said, I've had this tattoo on my radar for a really long time and I've been wanting to get it for forever. Avatar is such a huge inspiration for me and the symbolism behind this one I feel is like really important to me and probably one of the most symbolic things from the show for me personally. First of all, I love Uncle Iroh and I love the Society of the White Lotus and what they stand for. I think that's just such a beautiful and awesome message to present in a show, like how he was so accepting of all the different nations and how you could learn something from so many different people and so many different places. And then just the White Lotus te like society in general and the tile I just really resonated with. I just thought it was such a cool concept and aspect of the show. And I wanted it to kind of show the encompassing of the four different elements. And then to be honest, the white lotus tile just looks cool. Like the design of it is really awesome. And it's also a tattoo that 
if you don't know the symbolism behind the white lotus tile, it will just look cool, you know? Like, it will be a really cool looking tattoo even if you don't know anything about the show. But then the flip side, it's kind of like a little inside joke. I feel like it's almost like my white lotus tile when I present it to the secret society of the white lotus. It's really cool. I just love that aspect about it. All right, we are all done. I can't, I can't orient it well. Um, but yeah, it was not too bad at all. It was uh, some of the color fill hurt a little bit and the line art, but overall, great experience. Holy fuck, I have a tattoo. I cannot believe it that I have a freaking tattoo. I see you favor the White Lotus Gambit. Not many still cling to the ancient ways. Those who do can always find a friend. All right, guys, there we have it. About a week later, and uh, she's looking pretty good. Uh, right now I'm in the stage of healing with a little bit of peeling, so that's been fun. And this tattoo has been stupid itchy. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> but anyway, I am, I'm really happy that I got this. Like I have been waiting so long to get this tattoo and I think it turned out amazing. I love it. It's so colorful. It's really awesome. I have some fun stories from like the first week of having it. I ended up, why this is coming out later. I ended up getting a really bad uh, UTI that was like affecting my entire back. So I was super sick for like a week. I had to go to the hospital literally the day after I got my tattoo. And uh, at the hospital, the nurse ended up like trying to flip my arm over to look at it and it just all hurt. And I'm like, wow, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but through all of that, I was just so thankful to finally have it. Like, we're going through a little bit of a tough time with family members being in the hospital and just the stress of that. And like, between that and being sick, this has been kind of like a little ray of sunshine. So that's been really nice. I am so glad to be an official member of the White Lotus Society. And uh, I can't wait for Comic-Cons because I love talking to fans about their tattoos. And now I have a tattoo that I can talk to other people about. I'm just really excited. I'm really happy with this. And it's been long overdue. I was supposed to get it back in April and I'm just so happy to finally have it. It's just, it's just awesome. I'm so, so happy. And I'll share a little bit of insight with you guys. My dad approved. <laughs> He called me to talk about the tattoo afterwards and uh, I got one parents, okay. <laughs> it's gonna take a little while to get the others. Anyway, I love it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes and just kind of a fun little mini episode. I didn't do like a full on crazy video for this. I just wanted to do something like a little bit of a vlog style and just an extra little video for this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love Avatar. If you love Avatar, I'd love if you hung out and joined our little community because I love making creatures and Avatar is probably one of the big inspirations for me making the monsters I do. So if you would like, I'd love to hit that subscribe button, join our little nerdy community. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go put lotion on this because it is, it is itchy again, so. I will see you guys on Friday for another video. Bye, everybody.